morning, everyone. Good afternoon or good evening, depending on what time zone you're in. Thank you for joining or finding movement through meditation on Clubhouse. Hosted by myself, Christina Bermudez, artistic director and founder of Project KB. This session is one of the many ways we offer a holistic practice to build community, to find an inner balance between our body, mind, and spirit, and to make movement, the arts, and dance accessible to everyone. Today's meditation going to be focused on a sense of muscularity in the body so go ahead and find a comfortable place seated laying flat on your back or standing and we're going to start today's practice like we start every practice with our breath And I'll remind you throughout this practice, but remind yourself to prioritize your focus on your breath, to prioritize the focus on releasing the tension where tension is not needed, to use your body's muscularity most efficiently, to always keep your jaw released, your eyes sunken in, your full body 360 aware from the top to the bottom, behind, forward, side to side, everywhere. Kind of awaken that skin. If you want to, start by doing six sets of inhales and exhales. And every inhale should be sec six seconds and every exhale should be six seconds. And while you do that, let's wake up the fascia of our skin by touching, by rubbing, just to awaken the senses of our skin from all directions, as I mentioned, 360. And let's really focus on our breath here and continue to do so throughout the practice. So let's start with our first inhale. five more of those. Touch your body, touch your skin. Make sure your jaws are released. like I am, try to think about touching your subconscious with your mind, awakening the brain, allow it to become more aware in time and space. Excellent. And once you found that sense of breath, make sure to maintain it. I want us to go back to thinking about releasing our jaw. Releasing the space after and behind our ears. If we touch our ears, put them down. Massage the back of the ears, the back of the skull, the back of the neck. Really waking up that fascia. The front of the chest, the collarbone, the shoulder. Maybe even the nose, your forehead. 
underneath your eyebrows, this on your jaw. Tap, tap with your fingertips. Continue your breath. Just really wake up the senses everywhere. Wherever you are, seated, standing, or laying flat. That same release that we felt, that we feel in our jaw, let's focus on our entire body. Right? Today's practice is about efficiency, and so I really want us to find these points of gravitation where we allow gravity to take over. We allow gravity to stack our bodies in alignment. We allow gravity to hold us up, and we try to get rid of muscling, get rid of muscling through. So wherever you are, Allow your bones to stack. Allow to release as much muscle and tension as you can. Release the belly. Find a posture that's comfortable and efficient. And let's slowly break down every our body from top to bottom. So, starting with the back of the neck. Focus on releasing that tension, releasing muscularity. Follow that energetically down the neck, down to your vertebrae. Spread out through your shoulder. Elongate your shoulder blades. Find this floating sensation. After the shoulders allow kind of the forearms biceps and triceps, the upper arms, kind of just drop, drop them. Make sure your toes and fingertips are completely relaxed. We've got the elbow, create space in the elbow, create space in the forearms. Continue the breath. Now, check underneath the collarbone. Create a widening, then drop the chest. Drop the ribs underneath the chest. Drop the hip flexors. Drop the armpits. Create space underneath the armpits. Create space in between the hip flexors and the quads. Create space underneath your hamstring. Create a long sensation of quadricep until it meets your knee. Where there's this 360 kind of feeling of tension. Release the knee, release the top of the knee, release underneath the knee, release the side of the knee. Allow the knee to just settle. At this point, we've gone a little more than halfway through our body, so there should be this sense of relaxation, elongation, and efficient use of our muscularity. So continue thinking about that. Continue breathing deep. Continue releasing the jaw tension. Don't let it come back. Make sure that the work that you've done so far remains. And now let's go to our shins. If you need help touching to feel that space, please do to awaken the skin, tap away. Release the calf muscle. Allow yourself to find a standing place that's completely aligned with the rest of your skeletal. Let the weight go into the ankles, but then release the ankle tension. Allow the weight to really come from underneath the heels, underneath the metatarsals, underneath your arch. Spread your weight out. Lose the tension. Let's find uh, six more breaths here.
wherever you're standing, seated or lying flat, we're going to do a few roll downs. So if you're lying flat, maybe alternate from rolling to side to side. If you're seated, maybe just roll down half your body. And if you're standing, do a full roll down. And while you're here, just let's visualize ourselves doing this roll down as efficiently as possible. Visualize ourselves rolling down without grabbing any muscles, grabbing any tension that's unnecessary, and really allowing our skeleton, the gravity, to take in that energy and allow ourselves to fall. And if you have water near you, let's take a sip of water. Water in the day, water the first time of the day is very important, so let me get mine. You should already feel this sense of release as you get your water. Excellent. Let's roll down. So starting with the top, top, top of our head. Imagine there's a halo or a light shining. And it's kind of pulling you upwards, but again, let's not add tension to that pulling. Let's just create space with, with, with what we have already. Release the tension, release the eyelids, release the ears, release the fingertips, and let's roll down just vertebrae at a time. Very slowly, so you can find where your muscles want to kind of engage and where you can release them. Find the moments and fix yourself. Maybe your abs want to hold something. Um, just your knees. Maybe your back wants to hold some tension. Release the butt as you roll down. Vertebrae at a time. Allow the jaw to stay relaxed. Maybe keep a softness in the knees. Just allow our skeleton to Notice any tension if you have any things that you like you need stretching. And once you've found the bottom of the roll down, let's take three deep breaths. Even though we are using our body efficiently, there should feel some form of risk that if something came by or your knee gave out, you might collapse. That's okay. That's because we're just using our bones. So continue finding that bones. Continue releasing behind the neck. Release the energy throughout the toes, the heel, the ankle, the front of the ankle. And I want to reiterate on the sense of lightness and the sense of efficiency. Maybe your hamstrings are engaged a little bit. Else after that, it should be completely released. Away, you're doing a reverse, a retrograde. All the work that you put in, you're finding its forward movement and its backward movement. Really allow the neck to slowly roll up vertebrae by vertebrae. Excellent. Let's find three breaths here. times or two more times. Let's go down again. Finding new places of continued release. This is like your morning stretch, which is so important for your body. Your hip weight over your heels.
consigo criar, é velho Elias. Olha que doida que eu não sei. Gently bend your knees. Allow the chest and the neck to sink into the hips. Put your legs in straight. Once you straight, allow your legs to really straighten all the way to the hip space. Make sure the neck is released, your head is back. Letting the gravity is clean. Suck yourself away from the ground. Keep your eyes focused on the point that you're departing from. Excellent. Three more breaths. Tension is just released behind the neck. Reverse. And now that we have the sense of floatness, let's allow the arms to continue floating upwards to a horizontal T, moon T shape right now. Focus on bones leading muscle and releasing tension as we can. I want us to kind of, now that our arms are spread to the side, move, twist to the right, keeping your hips forward and also maintaining that sense of release and efficient body use. Twist our bodies to the left. Let our bellies be relaxed. Sing forward, shoulders down, over to the right. And then to the left. From this twist position, let's find a bend of the knees. This floating place. And now we're sensing this sensation of floating. I want you to find movement, gentle movement. You can move one body part at a time or you can move two body parts at a time. But you're gonna move slowly in the sense of flotation, sense of air kind of filling up the negative space around you, still keeping that sense of efficiency and not overacting, overactivating certain muscles. So where can you release the tension? If your shoulder's leading, can you release the tension in your wrists and fingertips? If you're moving your legs, is there a sense of lightness that you can activate? And in terms of movement, you can really move in any shape, but if it will help you, maybe find an image like clouds or water or strings and allow yourself to feel attached to these things create a relationship between your body and the strings of the clouds and the water. Just kind of see where that negative space is around you and how you're carving your body efficiently around this space. You still have released jaw and you're still breathing deeply, but we're finding a movement language. Activate your toes in this movement language. Can you find different surfaces around your air, around the strings that you didn't think about? Your back space, your under space, your underarm, your under hip, your hips in general, around your 
your neck, your ears, your mouth, your eyes. And now let's literally carve space. With whatever body limb you want to find the space and carve it. Be with your hip, be with your legs, your knee, your toes. Find something to carve a shape with. And once you found that body part, that part of shape and feeling, do this a few times. Repeat the movement a few times until you feel that you find a way to efficiently move without over musculating, over using your muscles. Repeat this move 10 times. And as you get more comfortable with the efficiency of it, you can go faster. Make sure the tension everywhere else is released. Continue breathing deep. Excellent. And with the kind of roll down, roll up, reverse sensation we have, that I would describe as pulling, right? Pulling away from, pulling towards. Let's add one of those moves. So we just carved, now let's pull. Find a new part, a new body part that you can pull from. And does it allow other space in your body to make shape? Does it kind of activate or as an action, reaction, create other movement? Just because I'm pulling my hips back doesn't mean my hips have to be the only thing that moves. Maybe it makes my arms float. But if it makes my arms float, be efficient about it. Let's keep it light. How far are you pulling? How extreme is your movement? Right now we're keeping it efficient, so I would say out of 10, we're at a 5. Once you find that second movement, so first we have carving, then we have pulling, let's tap those two movements together. So we'll carve and pull. Carve and pull. Continue breathing deep. Carve. And pull. Carve. And pull. Find the flow for yourself. A habit that's happening. After your carbon pull, let's find a neutral position. Back standing with your feet together, lifted with the arms coming up in that T shape as we did before. And we'll do that twist again. And the twist, drop the arms. Come back facing forward, wherever your forward is. So we'll do that again. We'll carve, pull, find neutral. Lift the arms up to a T, twist to the right, drop the arms, come back to neutral standing. So now we found a rhythm and maybe even something that we could call a phrase, a choreographed movement, a series of steps. With these sensations as primary reasons to move, right? We're finding ways of lifting and floating, finding ways of we're finding a carve and a pull, different sensations, a lift, a flow, a twist, down. Excellent. Now, I want us to take our little mini phrase and apply it to the space around you. Now, that space that you're carving Find a second purpose for it, a second reason to carve. And use the shapes in your house, your space that you're currently in, your office, a spare room, maybe you're just in your car, lying flat on your bed. Find new ways to activate the space around you, to activate a space that holds your space, to activate a space that holds your home, your work environment, a thinking space, 
and find a relationship now between the space and your movement. And when you carve and pull and light and twist, try to find different sur surfaces that you're tracing. Really open the eyes. Find a different object to activate every time. Even if it's a small object, you can pretend that it grew or you can make your movement smaller, up to you. But there's different ways to activate movement that we have existed and reinterpreted, reevaluated to exist in different ways, right? So walking, for example, it's an everyday pedestrian movement, but in dance, we use it as a form of transportation. And we stylize it, and we repurpose it and recycle, just as we're repurposing and recycling our energy. We're using the efficiency from, the gra from gravity and turning it into energy. So is there a way that you can think about that in everyday life? To use your energy most efficiently to repurpose your energy, to take something out of context and put it into a new context. And right now we're continuing our little mini dance phrase and just applying it to different inanimate objects and different feelings and emotions. Right now we've been keeping a pretty simple tempo, but in the future you can go faster. If you want to find your own time to go faster, you can go thicker and add texture. But right now, I just want us to focus on this phrase that we've created and taking it out of context and putting it into new context while keeping the jaw released, while keeping the eyes awake. Perfect. Let's do this five more times. Try to find a little speed with it. Maybe your heart is pumping a little bit more. You're finding a little bit of warmth. You're finding a little bit more mo mobility in your spine, in your hips. Excellent. Once you do the last pass, find your final position, your neutral space. Let's do one more set of roll downs. Let's see if this feels any different than it did before. Less tension, less soreness. Maybe it feels the same. Maybe your body is used to now, to the sensation, to the purpose. Let's wiggle the head at the bottom to make sure all the tension is going to release the jaw. Get it. Straighten it. Roll up. And we'll conclude today's meditation session with six breaths. allowing oxygen to get to your brain. Excellent. I hope you find a sense of light lightness today. I hope you were able to find a new way of moving and kind of find ways of taking information and repurposing it, being efficient with our energy. Thank you for joining me today for Movement and Meditation for All. Please invite your friends. I'm still trying to grow the community, the virtual community, and I would love your support through that. And ask questions throughout. If you have questions, I don't mind adapting the sessions to your needs. And it's every Tuesday, switch the time, but it's every Tuesday. 9.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Clubhouse. 30 minutes only, low commitment. Accessible for everyone, no matter what background you have. So thank you so much again for joining me. 
and I will see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.